So Sonny now has a documentary all to himself. There was All or Nothing, the Spurs documentary from last year, and that was actually a really good, interesting piece of content that Tottenham, Amazon, and everyone else who was involved in it put out because it just showed you the behind the scenes of what happens at a football club, the stuff that us measly peasants don't get to see at all on a day-to-day -day basis what goes on behind the scenes and it was a really really interesting watch the personalities of the players the, the physio staff being more involved than I think a lot of people believe they were the doctors the people who took care of the players on a daily basis I think it was a really really interesting production for us to see while it might not have been the best thing for the players or the staff or the management in that particular year because the season wasn't exactly going uh, going bueno it wasn't going very good it did give us some inside views as to what goes on but this one here sensational with the man himself I suppose we should have seen it coming. Hey, no, Ranger of the comic here right now. We're just going to be talking about Son Heung Min, the Korean king, as I do indeed call him. He's got a documentary out called Son Sational. What a name. People call him uh, Sonaldo. Um, you know, Son Sational is one of them up there as his nicknames among the Spurs faithful. And my guy, I just found out about this. There's no trailers, apparently. I found out today, and I'm like, I need to watch this. It's on Amazon Prime, apparently. I'm going to be popping it on tonight, maybe giving a review tomorrow or the next day, because, well, he might be in my top three favorite players of all time, top five favorite players of all time, maybe my favorite player to watch right now. Actually, to be fair, Spurs-wise, he is my favourite. Ah, and Dembele's been killing it last couple of weeks. Goldberg has been doing a pretty good job. Regulon, Reggaeton, Ori, all these players coming up. But Son is like the gold standard along with Harry Kane. And I think that he, at this point, is still, somehow, even now, he is still underrated. So for me, I would say he's the best left winger in the Premier League. I don't think anyone comes close to him. I think he would get into practically any team in the world. And other than Son right now and throughout this season, the two players who I've liked equally as much to watch have been Kevin De Bruyne, obvious pick, and Jack Grealish, someone who has impressed me a lot this year. I think people, along with me, I've been one of them who were... Jack Grealish is critic, saying that the guy is overrated. He doesn't do enough on the pitch. He goes down too easily. He's he, he doesn't push forward enough, and he gives the ball away a lot. No, this season, he has been obscenely good. The way he goes with the ball is nuts. And I think more than anything else, it is literally confidence. When you have that confidence to say, I'm just going to run, I'm going to go, and you can do what you want beside me, the guy just does it. It's what Son does. It's what Aguero does. It's what these players do who have the highest level of ability. You just say, I'm going to just go do it. Kane has it. He has it. He has that thing which makes him go and do it on his own if it's necessary. But he's become less selfish. He's been playing better balls in. And Grealish, might I add, might be uh, a good addition to any top six team in the Premier League. So Grealish impressed me. But Son this season has been spectacular. We might say spectacular Son. This one's called Sensational. There's also Super Son. If you don't know Super Son, Super Son, Super Super Son Son, then you're missing out because it is iconic among the Korean diaspora. It's absolutely super famous. Super Son. Super Son. Super Super Son Son. It's... Oh. We live in a world. We really do. But the show is apparently either set in 2019 or 20. It's basically his life in the UK during those seasons. Maybe it's through one season. Maybe it's through two. I'm not sure. But it might be partially during the pandemic, the beginnings of that, which would be, I guess, interesting to see how exactly he and his family dealt with that. Because I know his dad is apparently a hard man when it comes to training, when it comes to regiment, regime, like everything. The guy just is on it all the time. And Son himself has said that his dad used to work him proper, proper hard back in Korea. So, uh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a weird watch. It's going to be something that will be for Spurs fans, for people from Korea, people who want to learn about Korean culture, I guess. Uh, so yeah, maybe this will bring in some more fans. Son is like a great representative along with Harry Kane. Among others, all right, there's a handful that really do do a lot um, charitably and, and throughout the local area prior to the uh, system of a down that went on over the last 18 months or so. But, you know, it's exciting, it's cool, it's interesting it's different and i think it's something that might pull in some new fans as i said so i'm hyped i'm ready to give it a watch if it's good enough if it's worth the talk then i'll do a review of it anyway guys 
If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Son himself is gonna come after you. You don't want that. No, no, no. You really don't. Might be Super Son. Might be Super, Super, Super Sean Sean. He might be Sensational Sonaldo, the Korean king. But you don't want him coming after you. No. You really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been Grand. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. You've been doing it every day for over two years now. We ain't stopping till we get 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality shitty content. Because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. We also bring the Bukwas. Bukwas means nonsense in Punjabi. That's nonsense in Punjabi. And we also bring that because we bring a lot. It's like a, a packed lunch. You know, you never know what you're going to get. You never know what mum's packed for you. It might be some tuna sandwich that you're not really keen on. It might be a red salmon sandwich. Those are the ones you really don't want. Or it might be a ham and cheese and you're just groovy, baby. But um, you don't know until you try. So see you tomorrow because there will indeed be more Bakwas here tomorrow. Because it's just what we do. See you tomorrow. Skadoosh.